So now that I've rubbed some textures, drawn some textures, um, I'm going to use these. I'm going to cut them apart and make them into something else. So what I've done here is I've taken my textures, I've cut them apart so that they're in smaller pieces, a little easier to handle. Um, and now I need to think of what kind of a picture or what kind of design I would like to make for my texture picture. So what you will need for this part is a piece of paper, some scissors, and your texture rubbing plates, and possibly some glue. If you don't have glue, you can just make this almost like a puzzle and then reassemble your pieces back together whenever you want. Um, let's talk about scissor safety just for a minute. So when you're using scissors, always make sure the blade is pointing away from you. Never turn the blade towards your body because it is unsafe. If you need to cut something that is round or turns, you turn the paper, not the scissors. You just cut with the scissors and turn the paper. So before I cut something, I kind of want to think of a plan. So I think I'm going to do, because I was just walking around my house, I'm going to do a picture of a house. Now it doesn't have to be my house. Um, it can just be any old house. Maybe I'll start with this brown piece of paper. So what I'm going to do, I maybe don't want it this size. I'm going to draw on the back of this paper because I don't want to, if I make a mistake, I don't want to see it on the front. So I'll just use a crayon. If you have a pencil, use a pencil. If you've got a marker, you have that, use it. Use whatever you want to draw with. So I'm just going to make a little box that I'm going to use. Now I could have just used it this way, but I noticed that my texture didn't go all the way to the edges. So I'm going to cut off some of that extra. Remember, blades pointed away, turn your paper instead of turning your scissors. Turn each one. Now these were straight lines to cut, so they weren't too difficult, but I might have to do some curves later which means this hand will have a little bit more of a job to do. Ooh, I kind of like that. Now I'm not gluing anything down yet um, because I want to lay things out before I start to glue them on in case I change my mind. All right, so I think what this house needs is a door. What do you guys think about a purple door? Kind of like that idea. So I'm gonna turn it over. Now, instead of just drawing the door right in the middle, I'm going to try to work kind of close to the side so I can maybe use the rest of this paper later on for something else. You never know um, what you can use these papers for later on. All right, so I've got a rectangle. Cut that out. You know what my house really is going to need? It's got a cute little purple door. It's going to need a roof. I think I'm going to do a blue roof. And a nice triangle would work well. I'm gonna turn this over. I'm gonna hold it right up next to the rectangle so I know what size I want it to be. And I'm just gonna draw the triangle to fit that rectangle. Okay, so cut, cut. Ooh, it's looking really cute, all right. I have got the triangle. I'm saving my scraps just in case I can use those again. All right, you know what it needs, I think, is maybe some grass. You know, I had that grassy texture a little while ago. How about I use that? Oh, wait, it's not big enough to go all the way across my paper. Perhaps, mm, I have an idea. I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna draw a zigzag. Nice big. I don't want to make it too hard for myself to cut it out. And when you cut something like a zigzag, make sure to go slowly. And remember, this hand can help you turn the paper when you get to a point. Maybe you'd rather have a wavy line or a straight line. You don't have to copy what I'm doing. Do something that will make you happy. Now, cool thing about this, oh, I, it's got a little white edge here. I think I'm going to trim that off just because I, I don't want people to see this blank. So 
Like this, oh, my house looks like it's floating. I might have to bring it down. Oh, I think I'm going to cut that part off because it's just too white there. Okay. Ooh, this is looking nice. Let's bring my house down a little bit to fit on to the ground. That looks better. Okay, so now, hmm, this is very blank looking up here in the sky. So maybe I could put something up there. Hmm. Oh, this yellow gives me a good idea. Maybe I could make a sun. So I think I will draw a circle on the back. Now, if you have trouble drawing a circle, take something like a lid <clears throat> or something that's round, maybe the bottom of a glass, um, and you can trace around that. Of course, it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. This is your picture. Make it the way you want. If you want to have a different shape sun, maybe you'd rather have a square. You know, who's to say that's wrong? And perhaps maybe you're not even making the same. Ooh, I like this. Okay, so I feel like it needs some sun rays. Maybe, let's see which is kind of a pretty one. Ooh, I kind of want to try this marker one here. This one where I did the kind of the squiggly lines, the zigzaggy lines. So maybe if I cut out some triangles, I'm gonna just cut like this. Maybe if I just cut out some triangles, just kind of back and forth like this. Maybe that would make a really good picture or make some good sun rays. Now I might not even use all of these. Is that okay? You bet it is. Oh, I really like that marker squiggly line. Really makes this picture, the sun, stand out. It's a really big sun. I wonder if the sun is going down in this picture. Maybe just one more. Ooh, I like it. Now, if you want to add other things to your picture, maybe you'd like to add a tree or flowers. Or, you know what my, my needs? I need some windows. I think I'm gonna do some little squares for my windows. Oops, that might be a little too big. Just trim some off. What do you think? Windows? Yeah. So, if you... I think I should put another one on the other side. Cute. Alright, so, once you get yours how you want it, once you've got it arranged, uh, then you can use the glue, whether it's a glue stick or regular glue, to get your pieces so they don't fall off. If you don't have glue, maybe this is more like a puzzle and you take all the pieces down and then you can put them back again later. Alright, so I have finished my collage using textures that we made today. Remember, a collage is simply a picture made from cut pieces of paper. And I think by adding the textures, we really made our picture look a lot more interesting than if we had just used plain pieces of paper. So, if you get a chance, try to find some textures today. Um, either inside or outside, maybe make some rubbings or create your own texture. Remember boys and girls, you don't have to make the same picture that I did. You can really make any picture if you want to make a picture of a sun, a flower, uh, maybe it's just random shapes and designs, a robot, a rocket. Use your imagination and I bet you'll come up with a different kind of collage or just something else that you really like. Have fun, create art, see you later.